Hey guys, how's it going today? Today I'll be doing a quick video on how to do an oil change. I have a 2009 Subaru WRX. Um, this pretty much will work for all Subarus. Uh, it's pr all pretty similar um, between all the years. So um, just quickly over the basics, we'll have um, the way I like to do it is use the, the drive on ramps. You can get those on sale at your parts store pretty cheap. If you're gonna be doing your own oil changes, it's gonna be pretty, um, it's gonna save you a lot of hassle, right? So we'll do some drive on ramps, um, some cardboard to keep your house clean, of course. And we'll come over to just the basics of what we need. So some of the items we need for the basics of, of course, is the, the oil catch can and a funnel. Oil of your choice and then an empty jug for the old oil, of course. Um, some brake clean or degreaser. The oil filter with the drain plug gasket, some gloves, screwdrivers, 17 millimeter wrench or else the socket and ratchet combo, uh, whichever your preference is. Um, it's always nice to have a oil filter cup, the proper size one. Uh, it saves your skin from burning and hot oil, so that's always a nice addition. Tire chalk to prevent your vehicle from rolling back, and we need some paper towels and rag. So just a quick note on some of the newer Subarus, you'll have a skid plate. So before we drive it up onto the ramps, you're just going to want to put it on the ground here. Start up your car. Turn your wheel all the way to the right or the left, whichever side you need to do first. And you're going to come in here through the wheel well. And then you're going to have a little bit of a plastic clip here. So all you got to do is just pry it out and then pull it out on both sides. So moving on, after you take off a clip on the left side and the right side, we'll just drive the car up onto the ramps. So this is when you're going to want to pull your e-brake, put it in gear or else a combination of using your tire chalk and everything here for safety. And like I said earlier guys, on the newer Subaru models you're going to have a skid plate that you're going to have to remove. So you got three bolts, 12 mils, right, right on the front. And then one bolt along the back. And then you'll also have to take off the two little uh, plastic clips here. So after we got the skid plate off, this is where we'll need their 17 millimeter wrench or ratchet, and then the drain plug, the drain pan here. Make sure you got a rag handy for this. And while we let that drain, you can see that the oil filter is just in the blue, just right up here. And this is why it's actually handy to have the, the cup and the extension combo now, just because the filter is right beside the exhaust manifold and it gets pretty hot. Let the filter drain down. A little bit as well. While we wait for it to drain we can just get uh, the new oil filter ready so all you want to do is just put a little bit of a film of oil just around the o-ring and you always want to change your drain plug gasket as well.
I'm just gonna put that back in for now, just so I can move my pan a little bit closer to the oil filter. So now that we got the old oil filter out, we can just tighten down the drain plug. If you have a torque wrench, you can torque it down. Otherwise, you just want to put it down right until it crushes the, the drain plug gasket and then just snug it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Then the oil filter. For the oil filter, you just want to get it tight with your hand and then we'll go back to the cup here. Good rule of thumb is you just put it down until you tighten it up with your hand and then one eighth of a turn. Now that we got the oil filter and the drain plug tight we're gonna want to come back up top start filling up the oil. You don't have to worry about getting it right on the mark right away. We can always double check it after. So after we filled up the oil, we just want to quickly run it for a few seconds. So what we're going to want to do now is actually go back underneath the vehicle and double check the drain plug and the oil filter for leaks before we throw back on the skip plate. Skip plate back on, we can back it up slowly off of the ranks. Now that the car is driven off the ramps and it's all level now, we can check the oil level. And what you're going to want is to, hopefully you can see, is to have the oil at the second dot there at the full mark. So after that's all good, all you have left is to make sure that you put in the, the two clips for the skip plate on the left and right side of the wheel wells, if you had a skip plate installed, and clean up and enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching guys if you guys like what you saw please subscribe if you guys got any questions or comments don't be scared to comment below thanks